Gabon, and Zimbabwe is the economical ecological key, not only for the continent of Africa, but the entire global community. Establishing and building 10,000 emergency economic renewable energy communication centers is what is needed in the United States. With Gabon and Zimbabwe's supplying renewable energy facility resources, this can yield over $1 trillion in new revenue and establish about 10 million jobs within the United States and about 40 million globally. Because of Africa's ingenuity and renewable energy activity, now is the time to capitalize. Building this new industry in all of the 280 plus consulate offices and embassies the United States has around the world with portable emergency backup office facilities. The new renewable energy facilities industry will be established. Gabon and Zimbabwe will generate billions in revenue within the continent of Africa, along with the United States and the rest of the international community, helping provide the structures that all the citizens of the world need, homes, schools, offices, emergency medical units, and portable farms with mobile desalinization systems will be an economical, ecological blessing. Yes, all structures are zero grid facilities. They run on their own renewable energy systems and are portable. The mobility of these systems gives the facilities enables them to be moved from place to place in case there's an earthquake, fire, flood, or civil unrest. They can be moved to a place of safety and moved back when all is clear. This new facilities renewable energy industry will be established in Africa starting in the nation of Gabon and Zimbabwe, and move throughout America and th around the world. Now, I'm looking forward to giving you the full presentation of this proposal, uh, which is called the Watchman Program, and it's written within the publication of Reconciling Us, or Revolution. Now, here is a sample statement in this economical, ecological, global job plan titled Winning a Nation in 30 Days or Less. As a leader provides the needs of his people, the nation becomes a nation of leaders providing for themselves and other nations. Now, to truly win an election, you must make winners of those who elect you. Providing, number one, the necessities of life, any leader must provide what the people need, at least the basic necessities of life, food, clothes, shelter, emergency, first aid. These basic building blocks of living are still what every family on the face of the earth needs between 70 and 90 percent of the world's population still lacks the common daily needs of life. This proposal is a key part of the SWIFT Peace Plan, SWIFTPeace.com. And yes, we need your help. Again, the facilities will be built first in Gabon and Zimbabwe and established throughout the entire world. Please contact me at your earliest convenience, 626 Two four three eight two zero zero Chuck at global emergency provisions dot com.